Life may end, and we can see the disaster in our lifetime. It's not an assumption. These are the words of NASA. NASA is on a mission to explore space, and this time, the dreadful news is blocking our way. Want to know what we are going to face in the future? What do scientists observe, and why are there warnings? Stick to the video as we explain about NASA chief gives serious warnings about an asteroid hitting Earth. Before diving deep into the deadly discoveries and ghost lives, let us first remind you to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon, as it means a lot to us. Let's get straight into the video. Warning issued by NASA chief. Jim Brendenstein informs the world about the upcoming dangers. He is informing all of us asteroids are there and nearly to hit Earth. This is not an imagination or a scripted science fiction movie. In 2019, he filed a case at Planetary Defense Conference in Washington, D.C. on why the U.S. should arrange a defense policy against asteroids. It was also mentioned in the case that a defense drill would be conducted on what would happen if that simulates an asteroid headed straight for Earth. Brendan Stein said at the conference, we have to make sure that people understand that this is not about Hollywood. It's not about the movies. This is about ultimately protecting the only planet we know right now to host life, and that is the planet Earth. Brendan Stein also mentioned some past events to clarify the seriousness of the issue, and he mentioned the Chelyabinsk event. In February 2013, the meteor, which blazed across the southern Ural mountain range, was the largest recorded meteor strike ever faced after the Tunguska event of 1908. The effect of that meteor was more than 20 times than the Hiroshima atomic bomb attack. He further mentioned the ratio of these events. Normally, such events happen once every 60 years, but now it has happened three times in the last 100 years. His future insisted on this event. I wish I could tell you these exceptionally unique events, but they are not. NASA warnings. NASA administration is so concerned about the asteroids and to estimate the danger, NASA created its Planetary Defense Coordination Office in early 2016 with a mission to provide timely and accurate information to the government, the media, and the public on close approaches to Earth by potentially hazardous objects, PHOs, and any potential for impact. NASA never issued a warning about any matter as it brings restlessness, but there are so many misconceptions and news about the asteroids in the media and public. Johnson said, we have never actually issued a warning. He further explained the existence of the Planetary Defense Office. He said, yes, it exists, and it is because at some point a significant impact is inevitable. We make technologies to handle dreadful situations like what happened in the past, June 30th, 1908. In 1908, an asteroid almost 120 feet wide entered the atmosphere and blew up over forested Siberia, called the Tunguska event. As a result of this event, trees moved down and people were thrown away 20 miles, Johnson said. Such a blast could harm or devastate an urban area today. That would be a serious event. But he added, today there is a strong possibility that we would detect it beforehand. What and when they observed? The question is what NASA observed recently that compels the administration to issue a serious warning. NASA, with other agencies, detects some objects that are more dangerous, much larger, and must be close to the Earth compared to all previously noticed meteors. NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies uses its extraordinary and efficient telescopes to look at asteroids and comets. These comets are entering Earth's neighborhood meaning coming within 45 million kilometers of Earth's orbit. The rocks of particular concern are labeled potentially hazardous asteroids. This means they come within about 5 million miles of Earth. What NASA issued about the details of dangerous rocks, asteroids. NASA clarified that they spotted the majority of the bigger rocks as per calculation out of 100. 90% of rocks are larger than one kilometer and 0.6 miles, like the roughly six mile wide behemoth that wiped out the dinosaurs. They further mention that many dangerous rocks are remaining. Scientists estimate that two out of three near earth objects are wider than 460 feet. They further added that even much smaller rocks of more than some 30 feet are still threatening. 
As in 2013, it was proved that a 56-foot rock exploded over Russia and blew out windows. When a threatening rock is actually en route to Earth and detected, what is the plan? NASA did not believe in warnings, but in the case of asteroids, they are releasing two types of warnings, such as Number 1. Close Encounter It is the warning issued when a small 30-foot space rock isn't going to strike Earth, but NASA thinks it still deserves the public's attention. Maybe it brings some restlessness among the public, but NASA will take a few hours to clarify things. Johnson explained in this regard, Our goal is not to be the first to announce something, but to be the ones that provide the best information available. The other warning type is a potential warning in which a space rock is around 30 feet or has a more than 1% chance of hitting the Earth. Things get serious. NASA will take all other authoritative bodies in confidence before releasing a statement about this warning. According to Johnson, at that point, the White House takes the lead on new information being released. He added, it becomes a national emergency event. NASA will contact all asteroid monitoring partners like the European Space Agency and the UN-recognized International Asteroid Warning Network, and then issue the warning. After these attempts from NASA, one thing is clear. Asteroids are extremely ghosty and deadly, and that can cause severe damage to our Earth if struck. NASA will use a scaling method, such as the Torino scale, for estimating the hazardous impact associated with near-Earth objects. The scale ranges from 0 to 10. 0 means the small chance of a collision, and 10 means imminent collision and global distaste. DART mission. Double Asteroid Redirection Test is the mission dedicated to asteroids and their effects after hitting the Earth. This mission also demonstrates asteroid deflection with a kinetic impactor. Launch. It is a joint project between NASA and the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory. NASA Planetary Defense Operation Office will supervise the project. Other partners as international partners, such as the European Space Agency, the Italian Space Agency, and Japan's JAXA are also contributing to this. The DART spacecraft was successfully launched on November 24, 2021. It has a plan of collision slated for September 26, 2022 to October 2, 2022, and included help from Elon Musk's SpaceX. The DART mission will travel to the asteroid Didymos. Didymos is a member of asteroids and after every 12 hours, it is orbited by a mini-moon or a moonlet called Dimorphos. The half of Didymos is the mission's target. And it is done just as a test to demonstrate our technological readiness in case of an actual asteroid threat is detected in the future. Let's move forward and find out how we could save ourselves and the Earth from asteroids. Asteroids are dangerous, and there is no way to save them till now. Once they reach us, we are at their mercy. But one good thing is that they are large enough that scientists can detect them and give a warning. So the large size gives them time to plan as well as panic. There is still nothing in terms of asteroid shields and securities, which is why serious warnings are issued. Let's give a little shout to the asteroids and find their brief history and timeline. What are asteroids? These are the small rocky objects that orbit the sun. Asteroids are smaller than planets, but they orbit exactly like that. The number of asteroids is not limited to our solar cell, and most of them live in regions between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, a region called the asteroid belt. Asteroids are left over from the formation of our solar system. Asteroids formed in different locations at different distances, so no two asteroids are alike. Horrible things surround the universe, and astronomers and scientists are tasked to find life in space. But in that search, dreadful things come that compel the scientists to issue warnings. NASA is giving hope to humans that there is nothing dangerous and they can handle the situation, but in private meetings, their concern makes us afraid. With this, we are ending today's video. What are your thoughts about the NASA chief giving serious warnings about an asteroid hitting Earth? Tell us in the comments. Also like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to receive timely notifications of such interesting content.